And this is going to count all the orders on your terminal. Now, trail stop is something that you don't need to stress yourself about. Once you have it, you have it forever. So just copy and paste because only a few things are going to change once you have this code. And whenever you need it, you can just go pull it out again. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a trail stop. This is actually something that has always been difficult for a lot of people. But then today, I'm going to clarify it for everybody and hopefully that everyone can understand how this works now you can press your f4 or go over to your meta editor and i don't expect any beginner being here looking to do a trail stop because if you're a beginner then trail stop is something that you shouldn't even be worrying about so i'm going to take an already existing expert advisor that i built a very simple one and i'm gonna be showing you how to add a trailing stop already on your existing expert advisor because i'm sure everybody watching this video is stuck and they already have something that they built they just want to add a trail stop on top of it but for those who don't know anything at all please take uh, the beginner algorithmic trading course down in the description you can watch the free video right here on my youtube channel and you can also go forward and pay for the course if you want to go advance a bit um for those of you who don't even know what forex is and you're completely beginning then please take the free four hour beginner trading video in which we teach you everything about forex and for those of you who have a strategy and you're just looking for a programmer to program your strategy or help you tweak some things then definitely feel free to contact me on my email or my whatsapp down below now i'm gonna press new and then next and i'm gonna call this one trail stop ea by the way this source code is going to be available on the website just press the link down in the description as well for those of you who are lazy to type and watch this video and i'm just going to be removing all of this and then i'm going to be pasting an extremely simple expert advisor that i built in the past i hope that this doesn't confuse anybody this is just a simple expert advisor for a crossover ea meaning that whenever these two lines the blue one and the purple cross then a trade enters when the purple crosses over the blue it buys when the blue crosses above the purple it sells a very very simple expert advisor so this is where the trail stop begins the trail stop begins after you are done putting in your order sends. This is where you send your buy and your sell order. So I hope that everybody is with me on the same page because everything above this is not, it's, it's, it's whatever. Whatever your, your, your strategy is, it doesn't matter. The trail stop only affects the buy and the sells. And the first step in a trail stop, and I need you to listen to me carefully, is that we need to tell the computer that it must count how many orders are currently on the chart so whatever strategy that you have whatever robot that you have built for yourself mine is the simple exponential moving average crossover i want the ea to first count how many orders are first on the terminal you get me and that's the first step because we cannot tell the computer to trail trail what you know number one we tell it to count all the orders and then after we can tell it to select an order and then trail a specific order that we want so that's the first step in doing and i'm gonna write that right here so that nobody gets confused and the way that we do that right is to use something called a for loop now a for loop is the way that you count all the orders on the chart and this is what you type you say for open brackets integer and this is going to count all the orders on your terminal now trail stop is something that you don't need to stress yourself about once you have it you have it forever so just copy and paste because only a few things are going to change once you have this code and whenever you need it you can just go pull it out again now the next step after we have counted everything right is that we need to select the particular trades that we want so for example what if you have um five expert advisors working at once do you want the computer to count all of them and then go and trail all of them no so we need to account for these things because one day you may forget and please do not skip this step because it is very important now the step two is that we are going to select the specific orders that we want let me zoom this a bit so that you can see perfect and the way that I'm going to be doing this, right, I'm going to be selecting the orders based off the magic number. Now, what's the magic number for those who don't know? A magic number is a unique identifier. It's like a license plate. It's like the thing that divides this trade from this trade to that trade to that trade so that the computer knows which trades to target. And for this one, right, I specifically made the buy and the sell, the order sends from this one. 
to specifically have a magic number of one, two, three, four. Both of them to have a magic number of one, two, three, four. And this is where we actually get to filter by the one, two, three, four magic number so that only trades with this magic number get affected. Very simple. Now, the next step that we're going to be doing is we are going to tell the computer that please, after you have known which orders to start trailing, now begin adjusting the stop loss. And this is what we're going to be doing now. Step three. Now for this one, right? I want to be able to change um, the trail stop conditions the same way that I can change the stop loss and the take profit from the expert advisor up there. I don't want to come back to the code every time I want to change the trail stop settings. So I'm going to put a couple of inputs extra here and I'm going to write input double and I'm going to call this one the distance. This is basically how many pips that I want my trail stop to start trailing at. So I'm going to call it the distance underscore start. You can call it whatever you want. Again, I'm going to put in another input and this is the last in and this is the last input I'm putting. This is going to be the distance underneath stop. And this is going to be exactly three. So I'm, I'm using 300 as an example because my stop loss is seven, one point four. You can use whatever points that you want. But for me, these are the new inputs that I'm setting in this. Perfect. Now we go back to our step three and the way that we actually trail, right? If the order type, right, happens to be a buy, OP underscore buy. And if the bid price minus the order stop loss, close brackets, happens to be greater than the distance start that we just put in right here. What we are saying is that if the stop loss right now happens to now be greater than the distance start that we put the pips, the number of pips that we started with there, and this trade happens to be an underscore OP buy, then we want to begin trailing it. And the way that we put in this distance start, right? You're going to say distance start multiplied by underscore point. It's going to change it to 300 points. You get me? That's what the underscore point stands for. Perfect. All right. Then we're going to say plus. Now I want it to be at the distance start, right? But I want to add a, sp a particular number of pips so that each and every single time the stop, so that each and every single time the trail stop moves, there's a certain number of pips left behind in the distance, the way that it looked in the beginning when I showed you. I'm going to say distance underscore stop multiplied by the point so that I convert this to points as well. So what I did right now is that I added the start number of points plus the stop number of points. So whenever the bid minus the stop loss is above 300 points, then I want it to begin trailing. That's what I'm basically saying right here. So this is where you close all your brackets and then you open a semicolon. Perfect. And then comes the final step in which now we actually do the order modify. This is where we begin to modify. We've put in all of our conditions. Now we're going to begin to modify the stop loss. Step four. Now we modify. Very simple. It's a four step process. But wait, don't leave. And what I'm typing here is the things that the order modify function needs to be fulfilled. It needs the ticket number of the order. It needs the price number of the order. And if you put in these two functions, it just automatically tells the computer the current order price and the current ticket number. And just right there, you are done with the buy trailing stop. Just this right here will trail the buy. But wait, before you do anything else, you need to normalize the price. And right here, right, I'm going to be writing something called a normal price. And I'm going to be defining this function right now in a few minutes. But then this is going to help to normalize everything so that everything looks normal. 
and that is how we do a trail stop the last thing that we need to do is that we need to do the same for the cell so i'm gonna write step five do the same for cell and you know that in every if statement there is something called an else statement if it's not this then else it should be this and that's what we're going to be doing right now if it's not that then let it else if order type equal to cell now So if Mr. Computer, you don't find a buy trade with all these conditions, then please look for a sell trade. That's what we're saying. And everything here is going to be pretty much identical, except we are going to be saying the ask price instead. And then lastly, this is where we also modify for the cell. So it's basically these last two steps, just copied and pasted with just a slight few changes. And then finally, I'm going to close off all the brackets within my code. And before we leave, remember that normalized price? This is where we are going to be putting in the function for it. And we're going to say this is the normalized price function. So now we hit compile and then everything should be done. Now let's go and test this thing. And I'm testing it on the GBP H1 timeframe. We're gonna hit start template. Remember it's a simple crossover moving average strategy. What we're looking for is the trailing stop. And let's see if it's trailing. Yep, there it is. It's trailing perfectly. I thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope this helps somebody because I know a lot of people have been struggling with. Once again, the code for this is on the website. So feel free to head over there and download it. If there's something that you missed. I hope that everything was as clear as, as it can be. I thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial and uh, Shalom.